Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Reconciliation over excommunication. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, it's on all the platforms, and donate. Tax deductible link in the description. Higher Things is all about passing that faith, the faith of Jesus, into the future, the future generations. If you're, that's important to you, give today. You know, we started last week trying to do the three-year three year series every now and again, and let's take a look at it. I want to take a look specifically at Matthew 18, 15, and following. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens, you have gained your brother over. Um, but if he does not listen, take one or two from amongst you that every charge may be established by two witnesses, two or three witnesses, and that's by the mouth of two or three witnesses from the Septuagint. Um, if he refuses to listen uh, to them, tell it to the ecclesia, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen to the church, to parakau, to listen, um, to listen over the church, let him uh, be as a Gentile and a or a tax collector. Amen, amen. I say to you, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Perfect tense. It's already been loosed. Um, again, I say to you, if two or three are gathered together, or two or three agree on earth, they, they, they sort of, they think together on earth um, about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Uh, for where two or three gathered, there I am in their midst also. Now, this is a text that's often used um, for Matthew. It's Matthew 18, and we often use this as a text for um, how to work out our differences. Um, and this is, this is so important, especially in today, uh, because this is about reconciliation before it's about excommunication. There is excommunication in this, but it's primarily about reconciliation. So if someone sins against you, notice first you don't tell everybody before you tell them. You don't post on Facebook how bad of a person they are or um, take to Twitter. Um, you go and tell them their fault, his fault, between you and him alone. This is so important in our day where we take to Twitter and we take to texting people. We talk to everybody about our problem before we talk to the person who is involved. And we'll use all sorts of excuses for it. But really, what it's about is we just don't want to tell them. We, but we got to ask yourself while you're writing the Facebook message, while you're writing the social media post, is this about reconciling or this is about getting your licks in? Because if it's about getting your punches in, um, well, you're doing the right thing by social media then. But if it's about reconciliation, then you should listen to Jesus. Because he's about gaining your brother over. Um, about um, care dino. Um, it literally means to... Um, uh, to, to gain or to, um, uh, to win them over. Um, like to acquire them. It's like, what would it gain? Um, um, so it, it's sort of, if you want to win your brother over, if you want to reconcile, then the answer is simple. Go to them face to face. Before you go to everywhere else, go to them face to face. Now, if they don't listen to you, well, then, then you have a problem that you can sort of deal with through the process listed here, which is to take somebody with you 
So it's not he said, she said. It's not your perspective versus their perspective and then to the church and the like. And someday we'll talk about excommunication. Um, but today I wanted to really, really, really sort of talk about if Christ died for you and Christ died for them, uh, then we want to make sure that um, what we're trying to do is reconcile rather than getting our punches in, okay? And Jesus makes it very clear how to reconcile with them. You go to them and you talk to them face to face. And, 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 and for our younger folks who going to them may be texting them, I think um, this is call them. This is go see them. Before this is text them. Before this is respond publicly on Facebook, it's, it's go greet them. Because you, cause Christ died for them and Christ died for you. And so before it's, 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 oh, it's all like Donkey Kong. Um, it's, um, it's reconcile with them. And that brings great joy to your father who is in heaven, who gave up his son to save the both of you. Thanks for your prayers and your thoughts with the COVID. Um, feeling a little bit better every day. Still really exhausted, still a little headache, but I'm getting better every day, and I look forward to being back in church um, a week from Sunday. Uh, reconciliation first before it's excommunication. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.